This is a short introduction video to the ET Traffic Box air quality screening tool. The Traffic Box is a small, compact, lightweight system that measures ambient air and particles. The system is approximately 700 millimeters high, 500 millimeters wide, and 250 millimeters deep. It's designed to be mounted onto walls or lamp posts. The power requirements for the traffic box are 220 volts AC, and the power consumption is approximately three amps. Traffic box is mounted into a weatherproof, anti-vandal, lockable steel enclosure. Three. The traffic box can measure five gases and particulate matter, or six gases if no particulate matter measurement is required. This particular unit is measuring nitrogen dioxide, NO2, and PM10 particulates. However, the system can be expanded to measure other components, including NO, SO2, ozone, CO, and VOCs. For the NO2 measurement, we use a very special metal oxide semiconductor sensor. The range for this sensor is 0 to 200 parts per billion, and the detection limit is 1 part per billion. So this makes the traffic bo box absolutely perfect for ambient air quality applications. This particular unit is also measuring for PM10 particulates. The range for the PM10 sensor is 0 to 2000 micrograms per cubic meter with a 1 microgram per cubic meter detection limit. Three. The traffic box is a real-time air quality monitoring system. Data is logged in intervals from 1 minute to 60 minutes in large capacity internal memory. Data is logged onto an SD card. Also we can connect the traffic box up to a range of communications options including GSM modems, GPRS 3G modems, broadband internet and we can also connect the traffic box up to UTMC traffic control systems. When connected up to a modem, the user can collect data from the traffic box using software that is supplied with the unit, or additionally, ET's very popular Convisioner software can be used to collect data from the traffic box. Three. Traffic box is housed within a weatherproof, anti-vandal enclosure. Simple to set up and operate, and only generally requires a monthly calibration check if it's used for continuous ambient monitoring. Servicing is very simple, with an annual service overhaul being the only thing that's required. Traffic box lends itself very well to a multitude of applications. Some of these applications include roadside air quality monitoring, urban background air quality monitoring, monitoring around industrial fence lines, and also for construction, quarrying, mining, and for nuisance dust applications. There are hundreds of applications that the traffic box can be used for. Now I'm going to give a little bit more detailed information about the ET traffic box. First of all, starting at the top of the unit. Here you can see on the right hand side of the screen the PM10 impactor inlet and also our ambient air inlet.
This is where we take the air for measurement within the traffic box. Also, this particular unit is fitted with a two-dimensional ultrasonic wind speed and wind direction. Data from the wind speed and wind direction is also logged as well as the gas and the particulate data. Moving a little further down inside the cabinet, we have the particulate measurement unit. We're actually using a laser nephilometer here to measure PM10 particulates. By changing the impactor, we can look at different particulate cut points, PM2.5, PM1, or even total suspended particulates. This particular traffic box is equipped with a nitrogen dioxide sensor. And the range for this sensor has been carefully chosen to make it useful for ambient air quality applications. The range is zero to 200 parts per billion and the detection limit is one part per billion. So this means that the traffic box can be used in many applications where general, general sensor-based applications wouldn't be sensitive enough. In the bottom of the uh, traffic box cabinet we have the data logger and the data logger features a four-line backlit LED display and here we have information, real-time information from the traffic box. So this particular unit is measuring for PM10 and for NO2 and data from both those channels is visible on the screen. We also have the wind speed and the wind direction data visible on that screen as well. Temperature and relative humidity is also logged and this data is used in conjunction with the NO2 sensor. The traffic box features a thermal management system which is an important option when measuring NO2. Because we're measuring NO2 down to one part per billion, it's essential that we keep the internal temperature of the traffic box at a constant maintained temperature of around 20 degrees centigrade. This ensures that we have uh, a good level of accuracy, good stability and the minimum of drift. In its most simplistic form, data is written onto an SD card. And the SD card can be taken out of the traffic box and taken to a PC where it can be plugged into the PC and data can be taken off it. However, most of our users are gonna to want to be able to communicate with the traffic box whilst it's in the field. So broadband internet, 3G, G GPRS, those will be the most common uh, communications options that the traffic box will be used with. With an RS-232 port on the front panel of the unit, we can also connect up to other communications uh, systems, protocols and technologies, including UTMC.